Hi everyone! In this video, the native French speaker is going to read out a small text to you in French. After she reads out the text to you, we are going to look at the sounds, the silent letters and the linking words so that you are, go so that you are able to read with the highest level of accuracy. Let's begin! Le printemps est une des quatre saisons de l'année, juste après l'hiver et avant l'été. Cette saison commence le 30 mars et se termine le 30 juin. Mais les dates peuvent changer selon les régions du monde. En français, on dit que le printemps est la saison des amours. C'est le moment où les oiseaux s'accouplent, les fleurs poussent et les arbres redeviennent verts. Le printemps. I-N is pronounced as A in French. I-M is pronounced as O. The way you pronounce the way you pronounce en en is pronounced as on, so en will also be pronounced the same way on. So it becomes le printemps. The la generally in French the last letters of the word are not pronounced. So here p and s are not going to be pronounced. Le printemps est tune. Now you must be wondering why. We are, why I am pronouncing it as etune? Because here we are going to link the words. This word ends with a consonant and the second word begins with the vowel u. So we are going to link the words and the pronunciation will become etune. Etune. De. Here the last letter of the word s will not be pronounced. And E will be pronounced as this. If it would have this accent, it would have been pronounced as de. So the same way, even if there is no accent, you have to pronounce it this way. De. De. De quatre. 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 Saison. Saison. The AI sound has to be pronounced as the A sound. So that's why it is saison. And the Z and S becomes Z because there's a vowel because it's between two vowels E and O. That's why S has become Z. The Lane. The, the Lane, this pronunciation we have already done. So the Lane. Just après l'hiver. Generally in French, uh, we, if, the, if er is at the end of the word, we don't, uh, we pronounce it as ay. But here we are going to pronounce it as l'hiver. L'hiver. A avant. You all know that an is pronounced as o in French. And T is not pronounced the last letter. So here it becomes avant. A avant l'été. L'été. Cette saison commence. En is pronounced as O in French. And this is pronounced as only. So commence le 30 mars et se termine le 30 juin. IN is pronounced as A in French. So it becomes Juin. Mais les dates. Here also the S is not pronounced. The last letter S is not pronounced. Here also the last letter S is not pronounced. And A, AI is pronounced as uh, A in French. That I already told you. E with an with a grave accent that I've already told you earlier also. Mais les, les dates peuvent. 
Dat here also the last letter of the word is not pronounced. Perv ENT is not pronounced in French. So it becomes perv. Perv changer selon les régions du monde. Du monde. E is not pronounced. Du monde. En français. AN is pronounced as en. En français. S is the last letter S is not pronounced. And AI is pronounced as grave accent E. So it, it becomes français. En français. O dique. Here the last letter T is not pronounced. It is pronounced as O dique. Le printon. E la says. La saison de Zamur. Here also we link the words. You know the reason why. De Zamur. C'est le moment où les 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 oiseaux. Here also we are linking the word les oiseaux. Because the first letter of the word is because this word. Le ends with a consonant S and Wazo begins with a vowel O. We are going to link the words. S, S will become Z. So it becomes Le Zuazo. Le Zuazo. Sa couple. Le fleur. Pousse. Le fleur. S will not be pronounced. Here ENT will not be pronounced as I told you earlier. Le fleur, le fleur, pousse. A, le, a, again we are going to link the words. A, le zabre. A, le zabre. Zabre. Re davien. Re davien. Here we are going to pronounce this E. As grave accent E. R davien. Because after this E, there are two consonants N N. That's why we are going to use the you are going we are going to pronounce it the way of the grave accent E. So it becomes R davien. R davien. R davien. E N T will not be pronounced. R davien. Where? Here, TS will not be pronounced. So, we are going to pronounce it as where. Where? I hope you will keep in mind the sounds, the silent letters, the linking words while reading in French. One most important thing which we discussed while reading was, I'll just get, I'll just let you know, like, for ex if, if E is followed by two consonants, then it has to be pronounced as E, E in French. Supposing the word is Re de Vienne, Re de, Re de Vienne. Here E is followed by two consonants N. So it is pronounced as Re de Vienne. E is pronounced as A, this E. So it is pronounced as R the VN. Now the second word, VER, VER, VER. Here T and S are not pronounced. It, uh, it is pronounced as VER, VER. Here also E is followed by two consonants R and T. So that is why it is pronounced as a, a. So it is pronounced where, where. This is the most important point. So please remember. Have a good day.